Hey everybody, welcome back to the Model Train Outsider in what is hopefully a really cool show today. I am Anthony Dodge and as always I'm joined by the ghost of 2015 me. Whew. I'm here. Hey everybody. <sighs> oh boy. Well, at least you clean the place up. What's your problem? Oh, you know what the matter is. What are you on about now? Oh, I don't know. Maybe a certain ICE-3 that's off to Canada? Oh, then you already know. Well, at least I don't have to break it to him. Of course I know! I saw that little episode you posted a little while back. <sighs> then you should be glad. Glad? You gave away my ICE-3. Oh. I didn't give it away. I traded it away. You gave away the only train I ever bought. Oh. But we still have an ICE-3. Why not give that one away? Instead of the only train I ever had. Aww. Because that ICE is newer. It's got all kinds of cooler lighting and sound effects and gadgets and everything. It's just better. <laughs> now you stop it with that lame 80s soundtrack. It was a good trade. We got all kinds of cool things in exchange for that ICE-3. Yeah, like what? Well, if you had watched the video, you'd already know. I couldn't watch. Not after you mentioned my one and only ICE-3 being shipped to Canada. Well, fine. Here's a quick look at just some of what we got in trade for that ICE-3. My ICE-3. Canada? Oh, Canada. Anyhow, roll the video. All right, uh, just randomly looking at some of the things that uh, we picked up New, new is a operative word, but new to us. Uh, part of the haul for my ICE-3 original were these two uh, older Merklin uh, container car uh, wagons. And then we also got some additional wagons. Um, some are... Let's go over here. For example, uh, the two Hapagloid that I've put on my freight train that was in the running session last week. And then we'll come over here. Here is my new ICE-1. Got it up and parked. It does work. I'm going to send it off once I get a couple. I've already bought a couple of additional cars for it. Um, but we're going to send it off and um, get it relit up. And uh, make it at least a six car consist. ICE-1 cars are very hard to find individually. Um, I can buy some sets, but I'd hate to keep getting ICE-1 control cabs just to get another car or two. On top of that, over here is my ICE-2 now. So we've got an ICE-1 and an ICE-2. And this is now at a prototype consist. It has eight cars now. Very thrilled with that because through Herb I got four of them. So I went from a four-car ICE-2, like my four-car ICE-1, and 
Now I've got four cars to make that a proper consist, so that is now a nice long train. So, very happy with that. Also got some buildings and models and uh, that I showed in a previous video. So, it was a very good deal, and all of it to run on the new improved layout. So you see, we finally have a full consist ICE-2. We have an ICE-1. We wanted every generation of ICE, and later this year when we get the ICE-4, we'll have it complete. We got all kinds of cool things and accessories. We got even more than I showed in the video. Like what? Herb sent me this conductor's cap. Oh, take that off. You look silly. Hey, I think it's kind of cool. <sighs> now stop that. That soundtrack didn't even fit there. Besides, I thought you were supposed to be Mr. Happy, Mr. Positive, Energy, Mr. Inspirational, Mr. Yin to my Yang, all the good vibes. What's up with that? Yes, I know, but... Aww. Stop it. Besides, I have something that I'm pretty sure is going to cheer you up and make your non-reality day. Yeah? Like what? Why don't you look on the table by the train station? Well, I see the bus station is back in front of the train station. So, look closer. Fine. You didn't. I did. Everything? Yep. Everything. All working. Yep. All working. Even the signboards. Holy cow! After all this time! Show me! You've got to show me! Hurry up! I want to see this. It's been forever. As you wish. Here's a little prepared video. Well, 4K camera is not picking up the background as well as I would like. And I don't have the big zoom lens. But uh, if you keep looking in the background, Is the zoom lens on my new 4K uh, doesn't work with such lengths. I need to buy a special adapter, but there it is. Anyhow, why is that important? Well, here's a look on my very incomplete, very non-specific village, but if we zoom in and keep zooming in, at the bus station look what we have here and yeah I'm gonna bump this up and stabilize we actually have the actual buses of Delmenhorst Try to lock this in place. All right. We actually have the buses of Delmenhorst and their departure time set to the clock in my house, but it's the actual buses, their actual destinations, and it updates. So this is very, very cool. But that's not all we've done, but this was a big deal. This was the last step. 
So I'm going to zoom out and then switch to my other camera so that things really show up well. All right, in 4K, this has been a long time coming, but I now have my bus station done and the train station done. The bus station has the digital signs. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, I have decided I'm going to put in a Fowler car system around the bus station so that the buses can run as well as on the car and I'm going to set it up so that the couple of buses can stop at the station. But uh, again, it's not necessarily a great piece of art, but for me right now, this is amazing, but uh, the tricks aren't done yet because not only do I have this bus station all set up, and I'm going to go around and uh, do a couple of, try to get some closer ranges. Uh, this is a manual zoom there we go you can see those uh, buses again I showed them in regular definition but it's kinda nice to see them in the high definition I'm trying to zoom in a little closer sorry for the shaking hand but I can't get a stand in there this is the actual Dumb and Horse train station and as I show some of the video I will post um, pictures of the real thing and compared to some of the shots of what I've taken here. But I'm just, uh, I'm pleased to have this finally done. But there is one more trick to show off and I will do that in a second and put this on a stand so it's not quite so annoying shaking like I do. But, not only do I have working bus and platform signs, it now all lights up. So my station platforms, the lights are in the distance, a little blocked up. But I'll take the camera over there and show some, hopefully some close-ups. But the bus terminal lights up, the station lights up, and the station platforms all light up. This is a major step for me. It's something most people that build layouts doing a week or maybe two weeks. It's taken me well over two years just to get what little you see done here. Of course I had four months off here with a bad back but the last week I've been able to really get to work and figured some things out. Um, I'm just thrilled. Again I want to send a shout out to Dale Schultz at Remote Signs at Remote Signs at MixMox.com I'm probably saying that wrong, but uh, I'll put the link in. This is just, I'm, I'm thrilled to be at this stage finally. Let me try to get some closer views. Alright, so because of the darkness I'm getting a little play, but you can see the bus lighting up, the walk across, there will actually be street lights there, and then you can look into the station and see the platform all lit up. Uh, we're going to fuzz in the darkness here, but this is too cool. I'm going to walk around and try to show more.
You'll have to excuse the shaking hands. I'm tired, which means my nerves and arthritis start to act up, but also I'm excited. But I don't have a room to set this on a tripod. This is a much bigger camera than my little handy cam. So we're going to come over here and see if this starts to focus. There we go. I do have autofocus on, but my little town of Delmenhorst. I'm going to try to move this camera around and see if I can get a real close up of those signs. My design, my dream, my vision come to fruition. It took you long enough, but it's there. So, I'm glad you like it. Now can we move on past your IC3 being gone to Canada? What? That pizza junk? Who cares about that? This is more important. No, don't go there. It was not a piece of junk. Sorry, Herb. It really was a good train. And I know you're happy with it. He's just an idiot. Yeah, whatever. The bus station is amazing. It really is. It was a great train. It was just expendable. Shut up and show more station. Yeah, I'm pleased too. I know the real model makers out there, you know, you do this kind of stuff in a week or a weekend once you have a plan drawn, and it's taken me close to a year, minus three and a half months with my back injury, not being able to work. Um, if you follow this channel, you know um, that between years since I used to build models and years of abuse of my fingers, I don't have the steadiest hand. Um, and I don't work on something until I know exactly what I want to do in every detail. When I write, um, I write, used to write college essays in my head entirely before I'd commit to paper. We used to have to do, turn in rough drafts and final copies, and I'd turn in one copy because I didn't have access to a typewriter, except very, very rarely, especially... Uh, my then girlfriend, now wife, uh, their family had a typewriter, which was an excuse to be over at her house all the time. But I would write one paper and just turn it in and say, here's my rough draft and my final copy. And it was usually, professors would argue with me, but then when they would grade it, they would go, yeah, it's a final copy. Um, when I work on something, I don't work on it until I know exactly what I want to do. I can't just make it up as I go along. And a lot of times I will start building and then realize something that in my head I thought would work doesn't work. But be that as it may, I've got the bus Zeobe, the, the bus depot done. I'm very excited about it. This has been a long time coming, especially since it had a little bit more electronics in it. Um, my train station with the running sound effects and lighting came out really well. Uh, but getting these signboards in and a thanks to Dale Schultz at remote sign um, at mixmox.com uh, who helped put these boards, or shouldn't say help, he designed these boards, but he made them uh, programmable and they're Wi Fi so I don't have to have long wires running. I just have to power them up and uh, we're good to go. But uh, it, it's, it's awesome. Uh, I, I'm just thrilled at how uh, I finally have the station done because it's been on my mind for a year and to finally have it in. Again, it's not the world's greatest piece of art, but it is 
the best I can do in the situation I work in nowadays. But anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the bus center. And uh, now I got to come up or 2015 has got to come up with a new inspiration of what to work on next. So until then, everybody stay healthy, stay safe. It may seem like things are going to get better here, and in the long run, things will get better, but uh, we're not out of the woods yet, so to speak. So I'm going to tell you all, again, stay safe, be smart, and until whatever episode I do next, I'm going to say to you, happy trains. Goodbye. All right. We'll see you next time. Bye.